All right, y'all, I'm just welding away, trying to get this thing done. I welded some side rails on it. I've gotten these back supports in, and also my spot here on the bottom where the ladder's going to insert into. Now what I need to do is cut this piece at a 45, aiming this way, take an inch off of this so I can cap the end. Just capping off the fronts so that when I put the expanded steel on it, it's not going to sag. The expanded steel that I have left over from the Coke machine security cage. I don't know if it's going to be enough or not, but we'll give it a shot and have to piece it together. And there we go. I'm trying to do everything the easiest way possible. Look at that piece. All I gotta do is cut one end and it's perfect. Wow, couldn't ask for any better than that, folks. Couple cuts across the end, working from scrap. Beautiful. Not half bad, y'all. Not half bad at all. Now I gotta cover those sharp edges right there. All scrap, folks. Old piece of bed rail. Just making my marks, my rungs on my first and third set of the ladder. Because my ladder goes four foot six. This set of rungs is going to be different. Now I'm just going to mark them and clean them, folks. I need to push them all together and mark them all again. Accuracy. That's the key. And there we go. Thirteen and a half feet of ladder. With a piece that I can brace off to the tree. There she is, folks. There she is. One more step to go. I need a backboard on it. Yeah, it was a lot of work. I probably could have gone out and bought me one cheaper. But I know that this one's sturdier, a little bit more heavy duty, and I used up some scrap, like I said. Got me a nice double ladder stand. Got me some camera mounts here, one on each side, so I can mount my cameras, and we're good to go. Appreciate you watching, y'all. Drag some of your steel together. Make yourself some equipment. You can do it.